Hey guys, it's a beautiful day once again. I always say it's a beautiful day because it's a God-given day for all of us. are going to have an update about our guppies and mollies and I would like also to share something about super worms and even this uh, black moor that is about to lay her eggs well today you will see that I have here plenty of babies of our guppies and you will see the breeders are just right at the other backs and they are so beautiful to see we will catch this one this is the update that we can give you. Well, they are plenty and very big. They are doing well. They are giving birth to many babies. And the babies are right here. You will see this one. That there are thousands of them already. Very prolific fish. You will see this one by just dropping this net and catching some of them you can already tell that they are too plenty and too many in this very little box well if you have problem about your area if you have problem about your place then i think you can just go go on and proceed with you know breeding this fish you will just make a wooden tank and make it a multi-layer so that you can save your space you will see also that there are plenty of babies of 24k mollies and these 24k mollies can get along with the babies of the guppy well not only the 24k mollies but all mollies for that matter you have the black molly the silver molly you can mix that with the guppies there's no problem and you will see that our breeders are also doing well there are only 75 breeders 25 of them are male and 50 are female and you will see how they produce babies in this tank i have already harvested more than 3000 babies of 24k mollies and this is the fourth batch that we have produced since we started breeding 24k mollies and of course you will have an update also about our Kohako surtail and I am employing another method I will separate the pregnant ones like this one very pregnant if you will observe that they are already very aggressive against the male surtail that's the time that we are going to separate them and allow her to deliver her baby without the male Kohako third tail. Of course, the babies are here. You will see that there are some babies of the Kohako third tail. They are already 10 days old from the time of their birth. Hold on, girl, now wait just a minute. I've got something to say. You should hear it. Two days ago, we made a video about our black tail sword tail. I am going to lift this up for us to have a clearer view of them. There are already plenty. Oh my goodness! This snail is eating the leaves of this plant. This elephant ear. It's very advisable to have plants. Of course, the plants will give some comfort to our fish and they will not be disturbed they will be more induced to breed if you are putting plants in their backs i said that there are around 400 of them oh come on they are jumpers oh, oh, oh don't jump don't jump this is it and every time i will see that there are pregnant female i will immediately segregate or separate them for them to be able to deliver their babies without disturbance so that's it so we are putting them together all the breeders are in this tank and we are checking regularly like just using 
Oh, I'm sorry. They are really jumpers. That's why I put cover because this fish has different characteristics with the mollies because the mollies will not think of jumping over. I like this uh, sword tail. They are really good jumpers that they can jump as high as 12 inches from their tank. So that's why we are putting cover. What I've said, we only monitor if they are pregnant and this pregnant is really about to give birth then we will just catch the pregnant one and put that in a separate tank filled with plants or we can also make a trap on it so that we can be assured that this uh, pregnant female or this mother will not be able to consume all her babies well we will put back the cover and we will have an update about our more fish yes come out listen to me i've tried so many times to tell you so these are our breeders of the blackmore fish they said that blackmore is redundant they are just calling this more yes i stand corrected there's the more fish and i have two male more and three female and you will see that the female are now really very pregnant these are the female and uh, they're really very pregnant now and they would like now to spawn their eggs on the plants well i already have so many videos on the technique on how to breed your fish well if you have not seen this video yet you will just type maybe dexter's world goldfish breeding or breeding techniques and you can already see plenty of our our videos on breeding goldfish so this uh, blackmore are also very prolific and they are capable of producing thousands of babies in just one spawning and this uh, more had been also the favorite of all fish keepers and fish lovers because of their protruding eyes and their very dark color we will also have an update about this tank well this tank is filled with babies of goldfish these babies are already mixed this is the baby of our calico rancho and there are thousands of them and you will also see that there are here the babies of our orandas the water is green and uh, the system works well for us of course we are regularly getting half of the water and then filling in with new water you see this one there are also blackmore fish this is the shubunkin and this one is already big this is the oranda and uh, this is the baby of the blackmore you'll see that the color has not changed yet but the eyes is already protruding that is why we are sure that this is a baby of a blackmore we have some rancho and there are plenty over here so we cannot disturb them because they will also be affected every time we steer this pan the the ammonia will really rise and it will affect the the fish and sometimes this will cause their death so we will now proceed to our meal work so guys we gonna have an update about our breeding of the superworm or the meal worm many of us dexter how did you breed this plenty of worm well we have to tell you guys that um in breeding this superworm we need to have plenty of boxes and you will see that the worms are here they are really very hungry because they really wanted to eat either chayote or this pechay this is the reason also why we engage in the aquaponics of these vegetables because we wanted to have plenty of pechay because pechay is the main source of food of this worm 
Well, this worm will not become warm. These are actually the larvae of the beetle. You look at here, they are eating a papaya. We can feed them with papaya, with chayote, with pechay, as long as it is not bitter. Well, ampalaya will not do because that's bitter. I already have a video on how to breed this one and it was explained by me in detail on how to breed this uh, super warm. It gives us really good income because at the pet store we are selling this at 1 peso per worm and we can produce as much as 10,000 worms in a month. Imagine the income of just breeding super warm. Now we will see our beetles. You will see here that this box is filled with beetles and the beetles are eating this Chayote. You will see this one. And this colony of beetles will stay here for just 10 days and after that you will transfer them in another box leaving behind the substrate. Well, many of us, what is your substrate? You can use any. You can use sawdust. You can also use an oatmeal or even chicken pellet. You can use that as your substrate. Or even dog food you can use that. If you will place the older worms, they will develop, they will morph and turn into a pupa and after two or three weeks, depending upon the temperature, they will become a young beetle. If you will put all the worms together, no chance that they will become pupa because they are disturbed. But the moment you will place them in their separate containers, that's the time that they will think of becoming a pupa. So we will get some pechay over there in our aquaponic tank and we will feed the beetles. So the beetles are really eating leafy vegetables. And they can also be fed with potatoes, apples, and even the leafy vegetables. Well, we have to get one. By the way, our aquaponic is really doing well. You look at the roots are embedded. And these are only the roots of our vegetables. This is the evidence that we are really growing this by means of this aquaponic method. The half of this box is covered with water, but the top of it will not be rich with water only the roots can touch the water level and that's the technique now we will feed this now to our beetles so you will see that our beetles are eating just chayote but they can also eat the pechay and the worms are also very eater of this leafy vegetable and there are also babies of our Guppies and these guppies are produced out of our breeding of the red guppies and also the green grass tailed guppy. And they are all here, and these guppies are just three weeks old, and they are too plenty in this tank. Well, you don't need to have a big tank for your guppy, you can just breed or ra raise the babies in a smaller tank, unlike the goldfish. And uh, Berto is here. He's late. <laughs> you see, Berto? I, well, I have to deal with him because he has some issues. But he has just came in, and that's all right. Well, okay, guys, Berto is here. As I promised you, he'll become our regular staff here in the farm. But sometimes he gets drunk. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> Arandas have just laid their eggs and a couple of days we can show you the babies of these arandas. We are grooming them to lay eggs again and this is the thing that we can share with you today guys. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos and if you have friends please invite your friends to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified of our 
new or future videos. We are close to 300,000 subscribers now and as what I've said, I, I really thank you for your support and this could not be made possible without your help, without your support. So I'm so thankful we're close to 300,000 subscribers and help me to get 1 million subscribers for Dexter's World. So thanks for watching only here at Dexter's World. Oh,